Hey everyone, Firegrass here, and today I'm really excited to talk about the upcoming Dancing Dervish rework. Being totally honest, it's even hard to call this one a rework, there's hardly anything changed. Um, I'm just gonna run you guys through it, in fact. So, the old Dancing Duo, and then you have the new Dancing Dervish over here. So the first thing that you can notice is that the new Dancing Dervish says it summons Dancing Dervishes. This is similar to the old Dancing Duo property that summoned a copy of your initial manifest Dancing Dervish. So we can tell from this that non-faded uniques are going to be inheriting the properties of their old faded versions, and this is likely because with the removal of prophecy, you're no longer no longer going to be able to obtain faded items. I, I think they're basically just going to collapse all of the faded items onto the non-faded items and maybe give them small reworks in some cases, which is what's going on here. The main thing, and the thing that really even kind of constitutes this as a rework, is this line here. Melee hits count as rampage kills. What this means for this weapon is basically that for bosses such as Cirrus and Veritania, two that I think are particularly egregious in this case, where they have lots of phasing and invulnerability, you no longer have to go back to town and come back in and waste a portal in order to get your Dancing Dervishes going again. So the Dancing Dervishes themselves can actually continue generating Rampage kills just by hitting unique enemies. So while the boss is there and able to be hit, you can keep those weapons up forever pretty much, but it's just when, you know, Veritania goes up in the air and Sirius, you know, constantly goes invulnerable. The swords go away, you lose your rampage kills, and you don't really get to keep using Jar of Worms, you know? Like, you can use a Jar of Worms to get your swords going again once, but you can't keep doing it throughout the whole fight. And this is particularly bad when you have lower levels of investment, and this is also what's held this playstyle back as a league starter, is that when you have prolonged boss fights where this is a problem, and this can be a problem in certain, like, map bosses, especially when you have, like, health mods and stuff like that, your sword falls off and you have to waste the portal. And especially in like Cirrus, that can feel really bad. Maybe you aren't good enough to, you know, do the fight wasting those extra portals. Um, yeah, so what this means is basically that you can just keep this uh, sword going like forever, right? As soon as it falls off, you just cyclone again, hit the boss one time, and then your sword comes back. You, you lose the ability to cyclone, but the sword will now continue to generate its own rampage kills. Now, this does also mean that Jar, uh, since you don't need Jar of Worms, you're also getting plus one floss space. Now, this is pretty big floss, pretty important for us for a whole range of reasons. If you do want to eventually use this with a Mage Blood, maybe, like, this is a really big deal, but even without Mage Blood, you can still fit in an extra survivability flask, and there's a whole lot of reasons why this is, like, cool. Um, this is kind of the main power being added to the skill. The rework is mostly a quality of life thing. Um, it is also worth pointing out that this probably means that all faded items are going to either receive reworks or touch-ups and stuff like that now would be a really good time for it prophecy is old content and you know i i would really look forward to it if the you know all the items were reworked it could just be that this is just one and that all the other faded items are just receiving uh, all the non-faded items are just becoming their old faded versions i hope that's not the case i hope this is uh, you, you know an indication of what's to come but um you know i guess we'll see so yeah, basically, I think this means this could be a legitimate league starter. So you're probably like, if you're going to do it as a necro, you might play like Absolution on day one. And then after you earn a few Chaos Orbs, you'll buy this weapon. And there you go. You can now play Dancing Dervish all the way through the maps. Um, last I played this, the damage on it seemed pretty good. It seemed like a pretty good build overall. I don't, I haven't done it recently enough to give you, a, you know, an exact sort of a read on its power level and all that. But. I definitely think that for the people who enjoy this kind of playstyle, it's going to be up there. Now, you get a Rampage for free with this weapon. You get Onslaught for free with this weapon. The minions are inherently quite fast. This is going to be pretty much the fastest Necro build out there. And that could appeal to a lot of people. It, it matters, especially at higher levels, levels of investment when you are trying to zoom. You don't necessarily need the strongest Necro build. You need the fastest Necro build. You need something that, you know, is just going to screen clear faster. And th this could be it. Um, you might want to complement it with other minions or whatever you know i've seen a lot of different takes on this um but yeah i, I think this is going to be appealing to a lot of people and i think this is a really good change unsurprisingly this gets a five out of five in my book so we basically elevated an entire build from meme status with just a single line of text just the ability to have your you know one melee hit count as a rampage kill it fixes the entire loop this is no longer like this quirky meme build that you're going to click on to be like, oh, this is what a Dancing Dervish build looks like. It's probably going to be just a legitimate way to play a, you know, a Necromancer. It's going to be a legitimate ne a minion build. Potentially, right? I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, I think that's really cool. Now, the other thing I really like was that the improvement was focused on quality of life rather than raw power. They could have just like buffed, you know, the Manifest Dervish. They could have just called it, oh, level 20 Manifest Dervish and added a bit of a attack speed and damage to it. I wouldn't have liked that to be the way to go. You know, like a lot of these 
builds even if you take Arakali's uh, fang for example the spiders are, are pretty strong right like especially once you ramp them up they're pretty strong and that builds like that builds really up there you know like it can farm simulacrum it can do mo pretty much all the content in the game it's real problem is that when sometimes you end up in situations where you don't have jar of worms um last charges and then you can't summon your spiders anymore <laughs> you have to like zone out and go back to town this happened to me a bunch of times when trying to do simulacrum to the point where i just felt like i don't really enjoy this build because it's got low quality of life i think this is the exact sort of change that poe needs more of you know like if every build receive changes like this the game would be a lot more fun I, I think ggg especially kind of overlook how important quality of life and fun is uh when it comes to balancing skills that the reason a lot of skills aren't played isn't because they're not strong enough it's because they're not fun enough you know if you look at stuff like cyclone it's a very fun skill and even when it's bad people still play it because they just enjoy the play style of it if you look at tornado shot it got nerfed pretty heavily but there was still a lot of people that just kept playing it league after league even if it meant they had to invest 300 exalts into the build to get it to the point where it could you know zoom through maps and stuff like that just because they really enjoy that play style and i i think this is great like this this has made the build a lot better without actually making it stronger there is no downside to it whatsoever you know unless they make this weapon extremely rare which i can't see them doing you know this is basically just wins all around you know i'm gonna need the prophecy to upgrade it the weapon is better supports a legitimate build etc you know, like it's just great all around and you get plus one flask um and then i thought it was also a very creative two birds with one stone solution so they had to deal with the problem of prophecy going away and how are we going to you know make non faded uniques turn into their faded unique versions and they you know with a single line of text they've solved the prophecy problem and made the you know the item usable to a lot more people this is really good poe needs a lot more thinking like this you know whoever was behind this honestly deserves a raise in my opinion and should be in charge of more of these re reworks and balancing and stuff poe needs this kind of thinking when it comes to balancing and designing the game this is what made poe great in the first place and it's what is going to continue to make poe great you know later down the line this sort of you know we need to fix this problem and we also have a weak weapon we can fix both problems with like yeah one line of text that like I, my my hat goes off right it, it is it's very impressive it's it's impressive right I, I i wouldn't have thought this up um it's it's so simple and yet so effective it's great you know this and and it's especially good because newer player uh, returning players don't have to come back and relearn what the item does they just know that the item is the exact same it's just not so retarded anymore <laughs> you just you can actually just play this skill against Cirrus, and you're not gonna have to be like oh i'm gonna go back to town every two seconds five out of five six out of five if uh, my rating system allowed it but it doesn't yeah this is this is good we need more of this i hope this isn't the only thing i rate five out of five in the reveal, reveal season yep big 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 win for me right huge i'm i'm ecstatic i'm probably not gonna play it this league i'm i might play it in a le you know another league or two time but uh i'm really happy for the people that enjoy this because this is a great change for those people if you like this video give me a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys probably tomorrow for the next reveal